Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and apologies on the delay. We've been just a bit flat out the uh, last couple of days. Uh, this is the next boat we'll be looking at, which is the Happy Hunter. Now these boats, I don't know if I mentioned before, are based off real boats. Um, obviously we can design whatever boat you want, but the, the ones we have here are all based off real boats. So this Happy Hunter is, a, I think, a Dutch vessel. It's a deep sea uh, salvage tug, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, so yeah, you can Google that if you need to. Uh, another thing was, we're currently just recording off a mobile phone, same as before. Um, so obviously, stability-wise, it's not the best. The other thing was, we got one of these DJI, what was my mobile three gimbals? Not using it for this video, maybe for the next one. Uh, might do an unboxing, but there's that many videos of those already. You might as well just check those out. But um, it'll be interesting to see the difference compared to what it is now and the next video. But anyway, that's something separate. So on to this one. So this is probably my favorite boat, the one that uh, I picked uh, to get into the shop. Uh, I've always liked the Happy Hunter, uh, even since the old Robbie model days, um, which was always very hard to get, even at that point. Um, and I just like the colors as well. It just stands out. So um, this one does come with the smoke system and the light kit as well. So we'll test out the lights um, later on in the video. Uh, but for now, we can just have a quick walk around and look. So size wise, again, this one's just over 1.3 meters. I think it's like 1.32 ish. Uh, weight wise, it's roughly the same uh, as the previous boat. I'm guessing around 25 to 30 kilo because it's pretty heavy to lift up to be honest. Um, detail wise, like obviously like the real boat, it's got the, the court nozzles which are those um, sort of, I guess, fairings around the um, propellers to, to increase the thrust, and they seem to work well. Um, dual rudder system on this one as well, dual motor. Um, and again, the finish on this one is just amazing. I love this color scheme. Again, a lot of 3D printed parts on this one, like the little, you know, right life rafts and um, the masts, uh, the, the radar systems, the, the nozzles for the exhaust, the crane, which by the way moves, so you can always make these um, motorized if you wanted to. All the little ladder systems, the railings, it's just, yeah, the amount of detail is just amazing. And you can, you can take this further, I mean like there's floodlight systems you can get, there's um, more tires obviously you can put around the, the body of the boat. But, um, you know, if you want to make the anchors work, you can. I mean, like, geez, where do you stop? Um, very nice. Now, this one's got a few compartments as well that we can have a look at. So, uh, first one we've got is at the back here. This houses the, uh, the rudder servo, uh, which connects to that... Uh, dual rudder system as well, so you know if you move this you're going to get both moving at the same time Very easy for setup and maintenance, you know, you don't have to try and get two different servos and try and match them up, etc um, Now with this one we've got a, a step down regulator, so it's taking your full um, battery input and, and uh, reducing it down to like 2.5 volts for the LED lights um, I found out the hard way because I tried to test one of those LED lights separately and, and blew it so, uh, on a 6 volt battery, so um, that was a good interesting learning experience, but yeah. So 2.5 volt is the output for those LED lights. And then basically that system runs all the way down um, through this compartment as well. This is which houses the two motors, single ESC, uh, and then you've got like the belt drive system same as before that one. Uh, again you can see the internal structure I mean kind of like a real boat I mean you've got that whole ribbing um, going on throughout the boat uh, so that's that compartment 
Again, these motors are the same as the other ones. There's, there's the brushed um, 775 motors. Um, good amount of torque. Uh, the next section here is this one here. Now this mast actually is not connected because for transportation, um, obviously you want to lay that flat. Um, that, that, that's got the wires that run down through the um, uh, that, that section there to go to the lighting um, bus. So you can disconnect that and then obviously fold that mast down if you need to for transportation. But I mean, at that point you'd probably want to glue it down so it doesn't move around anyway. Um, so if we take off this whole back section now, it comes up. And the thing is, this is where you probably need like two hands. So let me just pause it and then I'll get back to it. Uh, all right, so that's basically uh, that section here. This whole section here comes off as one piece, um, which then allows you access to here. Now, that's the smoke system we've got. That was one of our test smoke systems. So we'll show you the, the, the smoke systems a bit later of what we'll actually be using the final product. I mean, obviously this one still works. Um, this is also where you'd probably want to put your battery, keep some weight here at the front. Uh, you've got the two connectors here, so you can hook it up to your uh, motorcycle battery if you wanted to. Um, and then you've got these sort of tabs here, which will line up with the um, other section here to power the LED lights which are on, on, on this system here, uh, which we'll show you a bit later. So. Again, you've got plenty of room here. You can probably put, I mean, it depends what you want to do. You can put LiPo batteries in there, but just for the added weight, um, you know, a deep cycle battery probably works best as well. And again, everything will be powered off that one sort of junction. Um, you know, you've got the two switches here, uh, LED lights, and then that's for your smoke system. Again, you can put those two switches on a radio if you wanted to, through just like a little, uh, you know, third or fourth channel. Um, again, there you go, you can see the internal uh, ribbing there and the construction. So, but there's a, the front bulkhead. Um, we've been asked if we can put the, uh, the side thrusters on, on these ones, and yes we can. This one doesn't come with it, but we've got the, the hole here um, ready to go if you wanted to. And then obviously just run the wires through the front bulkhead, out through that hole there, and connect it up to your system that way. But yeah, there you can see the tubing that will run up to each of the smokestacks, so you have like smoke bellowing out of there, which will look really nice, I think. So there you go, that's that one. What we'll do is we'll connect up the battery dim the lights again and uh, see how it looks with the lights on. All right, so here you see the LED lights are on. Uh, so we've got some navigation lights on the side, red and green, green's on the other side. Uh, LED lights on the mast. And then in the cabin, you've got the um, LED strip light on as well. Got deck lights at the back as well again like these boats you can add more to them so I know that in real life these ones had some floor lights at the back and at the front so you can add those as needed um, it all depends on how far you want to take the detail uh, it's really up to you um, again the quality isn't the best I know that if you see these in real life it looks so much better uh, and especially at night, these things running at light will look really nice. There you go, so I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll try and get the next one up as soon as we can. I think this this is the second last boat, then we've got one more boat to go. And then we'll see what else we can do. Maybe we can drag Mike into some of these videos to do some gaming stuff for you guys. But yeah, hope you like and subscribe and uh, leave any comments and we'll get back to you on the next one. Thank you.